Yolanda, do you understand how serious this is? I do. I understand now because I don't... Yo! Oh my gosh, I, I honestly didn't mean it. Yo! I don't even remember saying it like that. Yo! 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 Guys! Things just got even more tense. Yo, at this point in time, I'm honestly scared on behalf of Yolanda. I don't know what her fate is, but it's not looking good at all. By the way, guys, welcome back to Life Updates with T. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to this channel, you are definitely welcome. Please do make sure that you hit the subscribe button, you turn on your notification bell, you like, you comment, you share, you watch my ads. Just basically do the most, yeah? I would really very much appreciate all of that effort. Okay, now let's go back to what's currently happening. Earlier on, I made a video about yolanda saying stuff you know last night and already people a lot of people on social media have been making noise about it and big brother has called yolanda into the diary session to address the issue with her you know telling her that okay there's this something that you said last night in reference to Papa Ghost that you wanna fucking molest him. Okay, that's not what she said, but obviously you know you know what people on social media are saying. What she said was, "I wanna fucking molest someone." No, actually she didn't even say someone. She said, "I wanna fucking molest." I I do have a clip in that video I uploaded earlier on. So if you haven't watched it, you can just go check it out. There's a clip over there of exactly what she said. So Big Brother called her into a diary session to inform her that there's this issue that had happened. And Big Brother is very much aware of the issue and she shouldn't have done that. And guys, also, that's not just it. This literally reminds me of the Bravo B and Makeke situation. I know a lot of people are saying that it's not the same. Yes, it's definitely not the same. Definitely not the same. But it reminds me of that very same situation. How everything played out, how he called them in the diary session. And then after all, he also released a statement on social media commenting on it. That's why I'm saying that I'm just practically reminded of that situation because everything that's how it's playing out right now it is the same way and is the same thing that actually happened back then when Bravo got disqualified and my keke got two strikes. Guys, I know earlier on I said that I obviously Yolanda was wrong for saying that she shouldn't have. And thank God that she also admits that she shouldn't have said that right now that she had found out. But for now, let me just try and write, read the statement that Big Brother had released. Big Brother is currently reviewing the incident regarding one of, our, one of the housemates, Yolanda. As with all investigations, Big Brother will ensure that the necessary disciplinary action is taken if required so that is the statement that big brother had released for the public so the reason i'm saying that this reminds me of the big Bra um bravo b and my keke situation is because this is how exactly this is exactly how everything happened okay this is exactly how everything happened and when she came out of the diary session um ghost was there and she had a conversation with ghost and she told ghost that okay there's apparently there's something very offensive that i did and ghost was what what is it and then um yolanda was like no i did it to you and ghost was like no really what is it what did you say to me and i don't think ghost doesn't really know i think he does is just trying to be a gentleman around yolanda you know because she's currently going through the most and then she tried explaining the situation that okay you know what this is what happened last night i was chilling with z and papi and boom was also there and you're also there she was like i don't even remember saying anything i don't remember i don't even remember mentioning it but what big brother told me 
I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. Like she keeps on repeating that I shouldn't have said that. And she also says, you know what? I should have controlled my drinking. Next time I will make sure that I don't drink too much. I just drink maybe one glass of wine because if it was not because of this whole entire drinking problem that I have, okay, she didn't really say it's a problem, but she said that if it was not have pace of consumption of alcohol she won't be in that situation and right now she found herself in that situation because she has been drinking a lot and yesterday she had a lot to drink so papa ghost also had a few things to advise her on and also advise her to like read the rule book just to check you know what's really offensive and if you do this or say this you will get disqualified or you get you just get punished stuff like that he also tried to like cheer her or calm her down by trying to say that okay you know what you don't have to worry maybe it's not that deep it's not as deep as you think it is you know you don't have to worry maybe big brother is just gonna give you some sort of punishment what and honestly speaking I don't, i'm not really sure if this whole entire um caring or gentleman gentlemanism or <laughs> whatever it is i don't know what to call it from ghost is really genuine or not or maybe deep deep inside is like exactly this is what i wanted this is what i wanted you know i don't know if it's really being genuine but what i'm gonna say is that whatever it is that he's doing he's doing a good thing because yeah like he is really doing the lord's work in terms of calming her down and making sure that you know she's not that worried but well she is worried like she is crazy worried about what just happened and she's scared for her life because she doesn't know what her fate will be and also remember guys yolanda already has a strike she has one strike right and if ever big brother decides to issue two strikes to yolanda it means disqualification if he doesn't just decide to tell Yolanda that you are disqualified and decides to like say you are here by issue two strikes. Then it means that is the end of the journey for Yolanda, which I hope doesn't happen. Honestly speaking, I'm just looking forward to her getting at least a single strike. So she continues being in the house because honestly speaking, she has so much potential. She has so much to offer on the show and for the show. So I guess we'll just see how everything unfolds and how everything plays out. But for now, that's what that's all I have for you. And yo, Yoli, Yolanda's fans, I'm so sorry you have to go through this. You know, it's towards the end of the game and all of this is happening and it's so stressful. I've seen a lot of people, you know, trying to comfort each other. You know, just by saying that, no, you don't have to worry. There's no disqualification. But at the end of the day, honestly speaking, we do not know what exactly Big Brother is going to decide on. But it's really, really concerning. I don't want to lie. But at the end of the day, we'll just have to wait for Big Brother and hear from him. So for now, that will be the end of my video. Please do make sure that you are subscribed, you like, you comment, you share. So you do not miss any of the updates that I come back with. So yeah, guys, do take care and don't stress yourself too much, Yuli Fires. Let's just wait for Big Brother to decide on what he's going to be doing or, or maybe on his decision. See you later.